Hello, beautiful Gemini friends. Can you believe we are sitting here again in this intimate space? Just storytelling, connecting, taking a moment to prepare for September. I got called back here to really sit and just take a moment to be with each sign and explore together. And I don't know where this journey is going to keep taking me. That's part of the mystery of it all, but I'm really happy to be sitting here with you today. Uh, September is a really powerful month for you all, Gemini. It's Virgo season and the equinox leads us right into the Libran energy. This month, we are also working with your ruling planet of Mercury doing its retrograde as it does every quarter or every trimester. I don't know how to put that. Um, this is a time of deep integration and knowing and understanding. And with Virgo season, with all this energy, the sun and Venus moving through Virgo, eventually Mercury will retrograde back into Virgo. The first part of this month is going to be about your internal landscape, your hearth, your creative furnace, the hidden part of you that is not for public consumption. And then as we move into the Libra energy with a new moon in Libra, the sun in Libra, Venus entering Libra, we're going to be working with how you create in the world, how you storytell, how you share of your energy in the world. So this is a very alchemized time of year for you. And it's really, really potent. And one of the first things I felt when I sat with your energy for September is this is a wonderful season, especially during Virgo season, fellow mutable sign, and even into Libra season, fellow air sign. This is a wonderful time to play with perspective. Of course, do this with care for yourself and in a way that feels right for you, but this is a time when we can take different lenses and look through them and learn from them. This is a wonderful time if you have old wounding from family dynamics, from old stories you have told yourself to survive in past seasons of your life. If you have had a mean or highly critical voice kind of writing you, trying to get you through the last couple of years, this is a season where you can visit, you can put on the lens, the perspective of whatever that voice or that story is, see it, and then remove the lenses and put in the lens that is able to see this from a compassionate, clear perspective. And this is something you will be doing as you modulate. As Mercury is retrograde, as we are in your fellow Mercury ruled sign of Virgo, as we are in a season of mutability and of the solstice and alchemizing and calibrating, this is a wonderful time to get clearer perspective on the different lenses we carry within our minds and our bodies. You know, so often the painful lenses are lenses that only have partial limited information. They are the lens of sometimes our wounded inner child or a stressed out version of ourselves that was just trying to get through. Now, these lenses can come in and act as the whole worldview. And it's important that we understand that part of their horror, part of their terror, part of why they can sometimes feel so big and impactful is because they do have limited information. They can only see so far. They only have two different parameters or something for how the world works. And therefore they can feel really intimidating and really important. And this is a season, Gemini, where you are going to be able to see oh, this lens only has partial information. It only has part of the story. It doesn't have enough to complete my worldview. It doesn't have enough to tell me what is safe and unsafe. And I can now look at this with compassion and understand when I have put on that lens and when I have taken it off. Now, conversely, I also think, especially as we move into the Libra and energy and we start to get to the end of the month and move through the the doorway and the portal that is the solstice um, or the equinox. I'm sorry, the equinox with its calibrating tendency. I think I said solstice earlier too, which by the way, I mean equinox. 
This is a time where you are also playing with lenses that have new information. So I think this can be a really exciting part of it. Putting on a new pair of lenses, and you are the storytellers, Gemini, so this is like natural for you. Um, putting on a new pair of lenses, a new lens, a new landscape can be, a there's a lot of information to take in. It can feel a little intimidating to integrate that and know how to work with it. Two cards came out. Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. Very interesting. Here are two very different lenses, <laughs> two different landscapes. I'm going to pull one more card. But this is also a really great time to expand your horizon. So start to put on new lenses. Great time to read, to connect with new ideas, to play with that intellectual capacity you all have and the world. So interesting. There's quite the journey that I'm seeing here as we move through September, a season of deep calibration and deep knowing. We start with the Seven of Cups. This is a card of perspective, actually. This is, for me, one of the most important practices we can do in our lives because this is about stopping all the external action and noticing which thoughts, which stories, which circuits just we keep picking up. And also noticing which circuits, which stories, which feelings, which thoughts we want to pick up. Feeling the difference. And what I love about the Seven of Cups is that this is a space where you can weigh the different cups. Unlike Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail, where the guy drinks from the wrong cup and he's gone. Um, this, this is about picking it up and noticing if it feels poisonous. And then putting it back down and saying, ooh. And then picking up a different cup that feels nourishing. And this gives us the capacity with our imagination and with our imaginal realm to be able to do this and explore and experiment and understand ourselves better and what it is that we are really longing for and craving. Now, with that clarifying process that we're seeing happening here in September for you, we get clarity as well. What I'm noticing here with these two cards is these are about coming full circle. The Page of Swords is going to bring us truth on something that has felt murky or foggy for a long time. Something that has felt unfinished, uncertain, unclear, undecided. Uh, Page of Swords brings in fresh perspective, a fresh opportunity, a new beginning from a place of sudden insight and clarity, which is so exciting when that happens. I think in that is a result of the ex exploration and experimentation we do here. The world speaks to the conclusion of a much bigger cycle. And to be honest, I realize now that as we move into September, Gemini, you are working with a really big transit for the next while, all the way into the new year with Mars in your sign. Mars is going to do a retrograde in your sign this autumn and is going to be with you for months and months. In that journey, you are mastering and completing some important skills and information that is going to help you move forward in your journey. And the world is suggesting this in the conversation. There is an understanding here that you are completing some life lessons and that you are understanding and releasing. And it is a beautiful energy. I'm so excited to see where this takes you feels really good to be back. Just taking a moment with you. As always, if you want to chill with me, explore. Every week, I bring teachings over on my Patreon. So if you're looking for connection, community, all of the good stuff, I would love to see you there. I would love to see you there. You can also find me on my website, on my Instagrams. So I'll leave all the links so you know where to connect with me. Have a beautiful September, have a beautiful equinox, and I will see you here again very, very soon.